Hello and welcome to the tutorial, how to create an animated card with, shader sprite, and CCG kit. In this tutorial, we will also use the artworks dwarf from Critical Hit. As you can see, the picture have now many effects. In just one sprite, the result is fast and very useful. Let's create our shader. First, we need to set up the artwork into sprites. Use your favorite software to split the artwork. Save the pictures into PMG with transparent. Now we can start creating our shader. We need to create a material into the project. And to create a shader or sprite shader. Share the created material to use your own material. Add the shader into the material like this. And the material to your sprite renderer for a live preview. Great, the material and the shader are set up. Let's create our first node, the build shader. Link the created shader to the build shader. Now, the shader will be automatically saved. We need to use the two artworks, the background and the dwarf. Right click. Go to Initialize and select New Texture. Right click on the New Texture and select Duplicate. Drag and drop the background into the first New Texture. And the Dwarf Sprite into the second New Texture. Now we need to blend the two sprites into one with Blend. Right click, go to RGB then with to RGB and select Blend. Connect RGB from the back New Texture to RGB. Uh, then connect RGB from the Dwarf New Texture to RGB B. Connect the output RGB from Blend to the Build Shader. Now the two sprites is set up into the final result. Let's animate the background. We will create a scrolling movement to the back for that. We need to manipulate the UV of the background. Add the animated movement UV node. Manipulate the X offset. Under 0 is for left, after 0 is for right. You can also set up the scrolling speed. The scrolling is automatically animated and that's a great thing. Also, make sure that the wrap mode of your dwarf sprite is set on repeat. Let's make a riding movement with the horse. For that, we need to add an animated ping pong offset. Connect the UV to the dwarf UV. Set up the offset Y to have a movement from up to down. You can also change the speed of the movement. Now we will create a zoom in and out effect. Add the animated zoom UV. Connect the UV to the animated ping pong offset UV. Select the right intensity, zoom, position and speed. We always recommend to slow down the zoom effect for a better result. Now, let's add the snow effect on the back and the front. For that, we need to use Source New Texture. Drag and drop a snow texture. Source New Texture is used instead of New Texture because we will use the same texture twice. Right click, select RGB. Source and to RGB. Now we can work with a source and use RGB. Let's add the snow texture to the background. Right click, select RGB, with to RGB, and select addition. Let's reorganize the nodes for a better view. Now, connect the background to RGB, uh, on the addition node. And the source RGB to the RGB, B. Connect the RGB output from the addition node and replace RGB, uh. The preview connection will be automatically removed. The snow is now added, but it's not moving. So, let's add or duplicate an animated movement UV and connect the UV to the source RGB UV of the snow texture. Set up the parameters of the movement to simulate the wind. A 
a small tail. The preview is always in squared view but the result on the scene or the game view will keep the right size. Let's add a nice twist effect on the wind. Connect the twist UV node to the animated movement UV. You can add a preview texture node on every RGB output. With this special node, you can view only the snow result. It's really amazing. For the full screen preview, keep the mouse on the preview material editor. Let's add another layer of snow on the front of everything. Duplicate the source RGB node. Connect the source to the new source RGB. Let's reorganize the canvas, like this. Duplicate also the addition node. Connect the RGB to the RGB B on the addition node. Connect the RGB from the blend node to RGB A of the addition node. Now, we can connect the output and replace the final RGB. We can change the intensity of the snow. We also need the movement to the second snow layer. Create or duplicate a new animated movement UV and connect the UV to the source RGB UV. Choice the right wind movement. You can speed up this layer for a better result. In this example, the HDR is activated and sometimes, the color is saturated. Especially if you are using the addition node. To avoid that, you need to add a saturate to the final RGB. Right click, RGB, math and select saturate. Connect the RGB to the saturate input and the output RGB to the build shader. Now, there is no more color saturation. Or, you can choose to select no HDR on the build shader. Let's have a comparison in full screen. It's look great. Let's add more complex effects. Don't worry it's easy. How to isolate and rotate the dwarf and the head horse. This is normally hard to do, but it's much easier with Shade Darrow. First, we need to create a mask texture. Use your favorite software like Photoshop. Your mask should look like this. The white will be used for the rotation. The mask should be in grayscale, it's very easy to create. After that, save the mask into your project, PMG or JPEG. For this, we need to work with the UV of the dwarf. Add a new texture node. Drag and drop the mask into the new texture node. Add an animated UV, animated rotation UV. Now, we will use the mask node called Mask 2 UV. Connect the ping pong offset UV with the mask UV. And the UV from mask with the UV of the dwarf new texture. Connect the new texture RGB with the mask to the RGB of the mask with 2 UV node. Connect the UV from the animated rotation node to the UV2 of the mask with 2 UV node. Connect the UV from ping pong to the animated rotation UV. And also to the new texture with the mask texture. Now if you change the rotation value, it's rotate but on the wrong way. Fix that, inverse the value from 1 to 0. Now we can only rotate the head of the horse and the dwarf. Set up the right parameters to avoid any strange glitch. A small tips, don't exaggerate with the speed and intensity. For a great looking, the animation should be soft and smooth. If the twist doesn't look great, you can simply delete the node. Let's have a look at the final result. Thanks for watching.